Fukui Island, a hidden gem. In this video, I'll show you how to get yourself and your bike there, what to see, where to take the best selfie and watch the sunset, one of the most amazing beaches and more. Please refer to the description for all the location links. I started at 6 a.m. from Ho Chi Minh City, heading to the city of Phan Thiet, about 200 kilometers away, where I would meet my two good friends in the evening. After a fun, chill riding day full of failed selfies and intermittent rainy weather at Tega Cape, I finally arrived at the hotel in Phan Thiet and had a beer on principle. The next morning, we got on the boat very early and it moved fast. Fukui Island is about 100 kilometers from Phan Thiet City and the boat ride lasts for about 2 hours. So imagine the speed. A ticket is about 15 USD per person and about 10 USD for the motorbike plus tips for the men loading it okay, and unloading it. Motels on Fukui Island offer rooms at about 10 to 12 USD. After checking in and a quick nap, we decided to start sightseeing as we only had two nights. First, we decided to visit the Museum of Wales. Sounds interesting and a little weird, I know, right? Visitors are greeted by a landscape characterized by dramatic cliffs, rocky shores and sandy beaches that fringe its coastline. The coastline is adorned with picturesque cliffs, rugged rock formations that invite exploration. The island is quite flat compared to other more mountainous islands of Vietnam. There aren't many high buildings yet, but plenty of modest houses. The Museum of Wales is more like a temple dedicated to the history, folklore and significance of Wales in the culture and livelihood of Fukui Island. Wales hold a special place in the hearts of the island's inhabitants, who have traditionally relied on maritime activities. It's a place where history meets conservation providing a meaningful experience for travelers interested in marine life and local heritage. And wherever you ride around the island, you'll have a feeling that it is completely detached from the world. The buildings, the roads, the landscapes are quite unspoiled. The tomb of the monk or the master's grave on Fukui Island is a revered site with historical and cultural significance. Huh? I think that means like to subset Leo. Ah, okay. It serves as a reminder of the connections between past and present. Yeah. Yeah. Check there. Check when I do The rocky strip behind the shrine is also one of the best places to experience the sunset on Fukui. A mesmerizing experience. I tried hard to get my bike there and take a photo with my signature pose plus others. It was a process of about 30 minutes to get it on the strip of land, take the perfect sunset photo and come back since I had to often stop and allow pedestrians to walk first. Always be civilized, even where there are no traffic signs. Here you have a glimpse of the process. After that, we got back to our motel to do some laundry, change clothes and prepare for dinner. 
join yang go konsik bundar kanau Fresh seafood is a highlight here with dishes prepared in traditional Vietnamese styles that show the island's bounty from the sea. And the next day we headed to Hon Chang or Chang Island, one of the notable natural attractions in Fukui. Here is an overview of what you can expect at Hon Chang. Honchang is accessible by boat from Fukui Island, typically through guided tours or boat trips arranged locally. Enjoy a one day or half a day trip there and take amazing photos and videos. The boat ride takes about 10 minutes. Now, a little bit about two wheels. Riding around Fukui Island offers a delightful way to explore its scenic beauty, cultural sights, and chill atmosphere. Here is a guide to experiencing the island by motorcycle or bicycle. Unless you transport your own bike like me, you can easily rent a motorcycle or bicycle from local rental shops or accommodations. Start your journey by riding along the coastal road that encircles Fukui Island. This road offers panoramic views of the ocean. The road is relatively well maintained, making it suitable for both motorcycles and bicycles. Fukui Island is home to several beautiful beaches, including Chilzeng Bay and Nyo Beach. Take breaks to relax on the sandy shores, swim in the clear waters, or simply enjoy the peaceful ambience of these secluded spots. Check the description of this video for the location links to all these sites and more. Park your motorcycle or bicycle and hike along designated trails that lead to viewpoints or natural attractions. Make sure you stop at this Quan Cafe Zokfut or Peak of the Slope Cafe. Ride to cultural landmarks such as Lingsan Pagoda and the flagpole. Bring a camera or smartphone to capture the stunning landscapes. Make sure you go to Bai Nyo or Small Beach on Fukui Island. You need to park on the road and walk down a dirt path. Baño is known for its peaceful ambience and pristine natural surroundings. And this was the end of our trip. We left the next day and had another boat ride. Do you remember this selfie at Kega Cape? Found this homestay. Awesome second floor with the ocean there. Lucky me. But I did feel unlucky that I was not on Fukui Island anymore, where my mind had obviously been stuck. <laughs>